draw a sectional view of a mature anatropous ovule and label the following parts of it that develops into a seed coat that develops into an embryo after fertilization that develops into an endosperm in an albuminous albuminous seed through which the pollen tube gains entry into the embryo sac that attaches the ovule to the placenta so what is anatropous ovule that is a completely inverted ovule turned back 180 degrees on its stack so you need to draw this figure where it is inverted completely now we see the following parts that develops into a seed coat what develops into a seed coat that is integument okay so these are the integuments the outer integument and the inner integuments so these integuments they develops into a seed coat that develops into an embryo after fertilization so what develops into an embryo after fertilization that is embryo sac so this is the embryo sac this embryo sac develops into an embryo after fertilization third the develops into a into an endosperm in an albuminous seed so here new cell is develops into an endosperm in an albuminous seed so this is new cell is so you need to label this part for the third question through which the pollen tube gains entry into the embryo sac so the micropyle is the opening through which the pollen tube gains entry into the embryo sac so this is the opening okay so through this opening the pollen tube enters into the embryo sac so that is called micropyle next that attaches the ovule to the placenta so what attaches the ovule to the placenta that is funicle so the funicle attaches the ovule to the placenta so you need to label integument embryo sac nucellus micropyle and funicle 